Okay, and on a roll today, there's a ton of information from what we're getting from, and there's a great shot of Uranus, folks. Basically, we'll zoom in on this with the magnifier. I won't be able to point, but it's a black spot. Now, when we quickly, I'll go over here, and, and that's stereo B, but basically, that's a planetoid object or something, even in front of the writing or behind it or whatever of the letter. That's where they designate where stereo B is at, okay? They have it laser pointed wherever it's at. Don't get fooled by the idea that it's so dinky, the satellite, you can't see it, okay? That's why I always tell everybody, it's not UFOs, it's actually planetoid objects that are out there, okay? It's not UFOs, okay? We're not going to find green man in space up there with these, well, actually we would, we could find a spaceship, but they'd have to zoom in hella much, like what we're going to do right now. And you really can't tell for Neptune either, whether that's Neptune there, you take your educational guess, okay? Because there's even a star right behind the printing on Neptune there, so you take your pick of which one is Neptune, you really can't tell. I would think that more than likely it might just be that right there. But in Mars, too, you don't really know, but you know that's the general location of Mars, so somehow something here is Mars. And then we see these are stars that we've seen on Mars somewhere. If that's Mars, the little blue there, there, or Mars is there somewhere. And the idea that we've seen starlight very bright on Mars' surface up there, i.e., the little piece of trash that somebody was psyoptically trying to psyop, Vino Black, forget that. That'll never work. So any, anyhow, my secrets are my secrets. Just tell you that psyoping me will not work. So the idea that I found starlight hitting the ground with the, and basically, yes, the Curiosity rover is up there. There is some art that's done on some back stuff. They're just trying to, whatever. I'm not going to get into those companies, government contractors. They're going to make money, and I'd love to work for them and help them out. So anyway, uh, Vino's always looking for another job. So anyhow, asshole electrician engineer, uh, not really a smart ass when it comes down to actual dollars and cents, so want to do business with everybody in the flipping world to make money. So no matter what, we got a beautiful shot of Uranus today. Okay, and then all my other videos, I don't have time in this video to go back and show you them, but the next video I'll try to basically show you that we've made a bunch of videos today. So watch all the videos that were uploaded today, and we're going to take some more looks at this because basically we caught the satellite turning again today. And let me, I don't do much editing, so I apologize when I say today a lot. Remember, this is on the 18th because this is the newest, freshest. My date and time, central time, is always over here in the corner. Okay, so basically you were able to pick up Uranus, and that basically designates where B, stereo B, we're off of Ace right now, and what it did is it did its turn, and basically I'll go down and we'll kind of, and don't get me wrong, we might end up finding some stuff, and there is some awesome stuff that you can see, because you're going to see a galaxy and pretty, pretty much and everything like that when they, when they turn here, and I'll give you the steps, you see, they're turning this, the satellite. Okay, they, they did it, whether they do it with the camera lens, they're not trying to disclose any secrets of our satellites, okay, so... Lens, mirrors, and as you see, we get some great views as it does a turn. And then we're going to always be able to go to this footage. Okay, so as we keep stepping, and I'm going to hit play, and what you're going to do is realize, you'll see Venus. This is Venus. It pops back over here. This should be Pleiades more than likely there. Uh, so we're going to be able to see now with a road map with this turn and everything like that from me drawing the magneticals and when we were looking on this sh late recent shot, yes, they're doing a turn in those objects that we're finding magnetical than in our solar system. When we find these magnetical lines, yes, there's objects out there in our solar system. So Vino Black and Soho, uh, Sechi, every branch of the U.S. military, and NASA and Air Force, I love you guys, and look at this great action that we're getting. And so we'll hit play, and when you watch my videos, basically when I've been showing those magnetical lines, we've been finding stuff, okay? So I'm going to hit a little faster and try to get the player to go. I might have a little bit of lockup going on on it right now. My computer? No, it's not. Basically what they're trying to do, it's in whatever. Okay, it's my computer, flip a coin, it's not, okay? So anyway, we can go with the steps real fast too, so there you go. There's Venus moving, and then you get the rotation that they're doing. And I think you'll start seeing, and this is what's great, you'll end up seeing this stuff here. Now remember, it's through the solar panel you're seeing there, but watch this. There's basically that stuff that you begin to end up zooming in on and everything like that. So this will be. there's going to be a lot of video action for this one here too, because the infinite size of space and all these galaxies and everything, we're getting a great look at as the satellite does a turn. Okay, so there'll be more videos on from A ahead. Ace is basically now what I need to do is get this to play, and you'll see the uh, object that is basically we've know that there's objects between Venus 
they always have been showing you, and, and NASA knows it, and a lot of astronomers know it. It's but they're dark objects because they're not illuminated, and some are illuminated. We found one illuminated object near Venus today, and everything that's got a magnetical is in our solar system. It's tied to the magneticals of our sun and or figure out which magneticals and they can see NASA can see all these magneticals they can see the Van Allen belts out there in space so the idea they know what is in our solar system not in our solar system and pretty much when you see a magnetical uh, basically and you know, it's not in the dictionary I don't give a shit if a word's not in the, those these are magneticals these are magnetical lines that hold and cling these planets to in, locked into their orbits in space and its electrical energy off the sun. We found all this stuff here that basically now they didn't mark Saturn, but I still kind of figured that that's Saturn. We'll be able to figure it out by basically going through the steps, see, i.e., the play of the day, and basically the movement of the satellite, also besides the movement of the planets, you see, and then we'll hit steps some more. And then basically when you when you hit fast forward, you're going to understand that the idea you'll see the curvature of the light uh, off the sun that was done and then we're going to have we're going to have a movie zooming in on this stuff this is just there's going to be way more than one movie for this and then i can kind of basically it wasn't just the the satellite turned okay but also it's a light curvature and we've already proven from the still shots from b that the idea that the stuff is between venus see that's what i was hoping to go over here now basically we should be able to hopefully go to b on this H12B and be able to see, remember we had the map and basically in here it shows you where B's at, what I already showed you where the B was at. So we'll be able to go see a look on that and see and get a more of an idea. See, they turned this, this, but it's great that it turned because then we got these views and we were able to see. So we have a positive and thank you for the positive. Hello, anybody with any branch of the US military because we know now that we did find magnetical planets because see, even Uranus and Neptune and Mars and everything. See, Mars is behind Stereo B. You don't get M Mars in Stereo B shots right now, okay? It's behind Stereo B. You can't see it, okay? And the Stereo B is shooting at this, the sun over here this way. And Neptune and Uranus weren't in those shots, pretty much, that I was showing you the magneticals from B. So let's, I mean, from A, with that wide open shot. Because, see, they have to move the satellite, lens or the satellite, to get this kind of a shot here and I will do the steps you see Venus move you see so when I found those magneticals in this shot it's absolute that there's a bunch of planets that we have found from stereo A that's in the solar system okay because they're large they're far away from the satellite and you know they're large because they're illuminated and you can see them so watch all my videos before today's videos and you'll see the actual factual so let's get some actual factual from over at B and see what's going on from the fresh footage that we got from the 18th so here we're over at B, see? So they can always, they keep themselves laser tied for knowing where each, I mean, everything is controlled. I mean, the JPL knows where everything is at 24 seven, okay? NASA, everything, all of the organization of, that keeps control of the satellites and everything like that. So Earth is just fine up here, ladies and gentlemen, as I see you and show you here on the 18th, but also my footage showed you all the light movement that's going on because there's an object absolutely that's up there between Venus and Mercury objects, okay, absolutely, at the sun, and you know the sun is behind the satellite and illuminating Jupiter and Earth, okay, and quite possibly with us getting a little bit of darkness, the sun is over this way at an angle, because we can zoom in on the Earth here and see how the sunlight propagation is going, i.e. you can see possibly even the moon, very small on the backside, and you can see the shadow of Earth, and so you get the, and you know that the, basically with that shadow like that, and then I'll pump this up as we're looking at this, that you know that the, the sun is over this way, okay, with my cursor, it's over this way, behind the satellite, and illuminating over here on Jupiter and everything like that, what we're seeing in this whole shot. And I'll custom go up, and we'll get a good look at the, the sun there, I mean at Earth, excuse me, don't do any edi editing as much as I possibly can, I just do it on the fly, which makes it more that you can keep along with the actual factual and there as you see the shadow of Earth and more than likely that is the moon right there. Okay, that is more than likely the moon and then operating off the luminosity that it gets from whatever angle that the sun is tiered towards Earth and the moon and you see the moon pretty much in our shadow. Either that or there's a small star out our back door that's maybe a hell of a distance off which I really kind of doubt it 
well, there is, no matter what, the infinite of the infinite of stars and space and everything like that, but pretty much I would say that that more than likely is the moon back there on that reflection back there. That's the moon doing that, and then the shadow back there, so you know where the sun is on this shot. So we get down to, like, we'll just pop down to 150, and we're shooting like this off of B, stereo B. Okay? And it's directly across from, in a straight line, pretty much, orbiting massive distances. You can go to Soho and check out. They'll tell you how far. I don't want to miss, quote, you see, on distance. And as you can see, you can see infinite into space, pretty much, because you can see the darkness in space way out there. Okay? And then all the videos today that I uploaded that you can get an actual factual of these objects that are between Jup Venus, 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 and yes, sure, there's objects between the sun, but basically you watch all the videos today that I uploaded today, and you'll see that there's actually something that's curving the light up by, and you can see the actual size of it because we got lucky, and it was on the 18th was actually between directly in line between Venus and the sun. It's an actual factual, and it's the size, the shadow is the actual size of that object. So it's pretty much close to the same size as Venus between, and it's not Mercury, because we know Mercury is absolutely the size of the moon, okay? That's a scientific actual fact. Mercury is the size of the moon, and it didn't do the shadow on Jupiter that you've seen in today's footage that we got from the 18th, okay? Okay, now I got this ping at what they actually had it set for speed, or what I ended up leaving it at. It doesn't really matter. But remember, the satellite turned, okay? So this isn't the object between Venus and Jupiter, but I was wanting, and we should be able to hopefully in the future, that they'll shoot back over to the right a little bit on this A shot, so that we'll be able to, but then they have to make sure they protect the lenses against the sun too, they have to have a blocker. So hopefully they can position the satellite and we'll get some kind of a view of, but we still get it from the other shots that we got from B, of what's pretty much between Venus and the sun, because the sun's over here to the right, okay? It's over here. And then this, the satellite moved, as you can see all these shots, and then the speed you go through and everything, and then I can slow it down, and like I've already done, and I'll slow this down, and it's not, it's basically turned the satellite, you see? So very interestingly, we have, when we're sitting here looking at A, when it pretty much, and I'll slow it down a little bit more, but when it comes around, so then we have some interesting objects that will be the next video, because we're going to go in and look at this stuff that you're seeing as I let it watch it play. We're going to zoom in on these objects here because we know as it does its turn, we can slow it down and get it because they went back and looked at Uranus and Neptune. And we're going to end up figuring out what these planets that are in our solar system tied to the sun magnetically, okay? They're in our solar system, okay? So we have great finds, and basically NASA can't hide the truth anymore of what's in our solar system. They keep on letting us see Hubble and seeing way out, well, this stuff's way over there and everything like that. And when you look at these shots, you think that that's something. Well, yeah, some of that stuff is included in here. I do believe that we're going to see a galaxy that you can pretty much see. You know, that's a galaxy that's over here by the solar panel. That's a galaxy that's out there that you can see as they turn back and look at Uranus and Neptune and stuff forth and so on. So this is going to be in the next video. We're going to end up checking these objects out over there. Let's see what I can zoom in on the, with the time we have left on this shot, on this 15 minutes. Okay, I froze it, and we're going to zoom in on that right there because we have something that's huge out there. And when they did the turn, pop up to 400 real fast, and we'll scoot over and look at it. And this is they're doing it, and basically, like I'm saying, pretty much that's a galaxy out there. Okay, so we'll get a zoom in on that as much as we can. Remember, when we see stars, too, off at a distance, that's another solar system over there, you see? Magnetical, okay? So that's where you get the actual factual, the magnetical lines. See, there's no magnetical lines here, and that's a galaxy over there that we're zooming in on. Now, whether that's Pleiades or whatever, I'm not really, I don't I think that's, I don't think it's Pleiades, because I remember on the other shots, I can see Pleiades, so. Remember, I can't point when I got, but we'll keep zooming in. Can't point on the magnifier, but we can get a look at a galaxy over there. A star cluster way the heck back by. And then I'll zoom out real fast and we'll get Neptune and stuff like that, and you'll have a pretty good idea of what we're looking at. And s send in your comments of what, uh, or do a video that, always put a video link, make a video so that you can see. And there you go, there is a galaxy. Okay? And basically we'll pop out of this real fast, and then someone do the research, and we'll start doing some communications back and forth. And because actual factual, you know that to be, we won't worry about mocking it knocking the magnifier down and we see that basically and we'll hurry up and hit play down here or step and we'll get forward and we'll also look at that other thing there and then I'll hit reverse because basically what they did 
as they were turning to look at Neptune and so forth. So there you go. As they did that turn, then you can get figured out what that galaxy is that's out there, and then turned around and looked at Neptune, Mars, and Uranus. Remember, Mars can't be.